Hey, guess what? It's Angel. You're watching my latest video and we are almost to July, which means we are well into the summer. And I thought it would be fun to do a video of just some items that um, I'm kind of just loving right now. And I hope you guys think this is fun. I know a lot of people do favorites videos. Um, and so this is just another favorites video, but these are some of the things that I love. And so we're just gonna jump right in. Um, one of the things, I'm like a Diet Coke-aholic, I guess. Like I'll drink it a ton for a while and then I'll do really good and I'll drink a bunch of water. Anyway, I go back and forth, back and forth. But one of the things that, um, that really helps me to uh, drink more water, I guess, um, which sounds really crazy, are cute tumblers, and mainly cute tumblers from Starbucks. And I was in Target recently and um, came across some really cute tumblers and I decided on this guy right here. Um, he's a smaller one, usually I like the taller tumblers, I have lots of those, but I thought this guy was really fun. He's just a really cute bright yellow. You've got Starbucks down here and kind of like, I don't know, kind of like a turquoise blue. It's got this orange, um, which actually it matches my nails right now, but this kind of like, um, I don't know, this tangerine color, I guess. And then just the regular uh, Starbucks green um, straw, which is right there. And then one other thing that I saw there that I haven't seen before, and maybe they've had them, I just um, haven't noticed before, um, were these, um, they are called um, old to go, sorry, cold to go straws. I need reader glasses. I'm like kind of embarrassed to say that, but I'm 42 and the last time I went to the eye doctor, um, he told me I was borderline bifocal. So anyway, I'm gonna open this up so you guys can see these. They're really, really cute. They were $4.95 and they're for the shorter tumblers if I didn't already say that. Um, there's three of them. There's this uh, really cute teal green guy. There's again like the, um, I don't know, tangerine color. And then this guy I thought was really, really cute. He's like a yellow, um, twisty, clear, um, almost like a, not quite a neon yellow, but a really cute bright yellow straw. And so I'm really excited to use those. I, I don't know if that sounds lame or not, but I thought they were really, really cute. And then the other thing that I saw, again, they could have, this could be like something new or something not new that Starbucks carries, but this is a stainless steel cold to go. Um, it's a switchable, it says it's designed to fit any Starbucks size um, tumbler. It is hand wash only, which isn't like my favorite, but I thought it was really cute just to switch out with your other tumblers. It's just stainless steel and then it's got these cute little polka dots on it um, with the little black shaded, um, I don't know, shaded area. And this guy was $5.95. So again, he's hand wash only, but I don't know, I thought it was super cute, so I got that guy. Okay, next, um, this is something that my son brought back for me. Um, he went to, he goes to this convention every year um, I think last year he went to it in Portland. This year he went to it in Seattle. And um, I know I'm not gonna say this right because I asked him like a million times how to pronounce it. It is called Sakuracon. Um, if you go to it, I'm sorry, I know I probably just slaughtered that name, but um, it's sort of like Comic-Con, but different um, is how he described it to me. So. Anyway, he brought this back for me. It is a zombie alpaca, and it's a little stuffed alpaca. Um, it's got the little like exposed rib cage here. Really, really cute face. He's got his stitched little ears. Um, he's a really, just a really cute, like almost a lime green, pastel -y lime green color. And I don't know, I think he's adorable. Plus, my son brought him back for me, which is like a really big deal because he's 22, and I don't know when he does sweet things like this for me. It totally melts my heart because, um, yeah, I don't know. He's he's 22, what can I say? So, <laughs> so anyway, I thought it was really, really sweet, and this guy is one of my favorites, and he sits right on my desk, and I just love him. So 
little zombie alpaca, okay. Um, next, something that my husband got for me that I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I used to have a little speaker that I would hook my phone up to to listen to my music in the bathroom while I get ready um, and the speaker died on me and I just never replaced it. So my husband brought this to me and I love it. It is like the best speaker ever. Um, we have a, I have a larger one of these, like the regular Bose um, disc um, CD player with the radio. And so this guy I love, he's just like a little, I don't know what you'd call him. It's He's got a rubberized, um, this is like a rubberized thing that goes around him so he doesn't slide around on your counter. It's a Bluetooth, of course, and just is amazing sound. So I put him in, I hook my phone up to it and I can listen to iHeartRadio, which I love, or I can just hook it up and listen to my music that's on my phone and absolutely love it. So that is my, one of my other like favorite, favorite, favorite new things. So, um, what else? I was going to talk about a bunch of different things, but um, I kind of like like condensed my list because my videos always seem to be like really long and I really don't like, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like condense them down a little bit. So, okay, so the next thing is, um, so I follow this, uh, this YouTuber. She actually, she's been on YouTube for six or seven years. Um, when she first started her channel, she was like really, really soft-spoken, um, really super, I don't know if she was shy, but she came off as like a person that you would think would be really, really shy. Her name is Alex, and she has um, a jewelry line that she sells called HRH Collection, and I'm not sure how long she's been doing her jewelry line. I know it's been at least five or six years. Um, but as time has gone on, her jewelry line has sort of evolved and now she has this really cool website and she's got really great designs and I feel like her jewelry is really priced at a good price point for the designs that you get and um, all of her jewelry, she says, um, she hand makes everything. Anyway, I tell you all that to tell you this, that I still am, I'm following her um, YouTube channel and I really like to watch her um, her vlogs. She does um, mainly vlogs. She does some videos, but mainly vlogs. Um, her her personality has changed. She's become more and more bold and like more and more, I guess, um, I don't know, just her, her personality has changed and her, and her jewelry has changed a lot and I really like it. So I was gonna show you some uh, jewelry pieces that are not HRH collection, but they are inspired by HRH collection. My mother makes jewelry and so she actually made me a couple of pieces that, like I said, are inspired by HRH. And so I'm gonna show you what those look like. I'm gonna put a link below to Alex's channel and to her website. So if you like these pieces that I'm going to show you, they are not exact replicas. They, they are not the exact chains that she uses. They are not, um, they're not exact. They're just, um, I guess, ideas of what she does. So if you like these, I would encourage you to go to her website and to actually purchase the pieces that she makes. And she's got some really cool uh, other items too. Like she makes, um, like if you want extension chains for like different purses that you have, she can actually make really cool chains. So if you like to wear your um, purses crossbody, but the um, straps that you have are not crossbody length, you can actually order from her and she can custom make those for you as well. So anyway, she has some really cool stuff. So I'm going to show you what my mom made. And again, if you like them, I will put the link to her channel and also to her website below. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is she does a lot of chokers and she does a lot of what she calls lariats. So this is um, similar to what she calls her pearl choker, I think is what it is called. And this one, so these are two separate pieces. They are not connected. So this guy sits kind of at the base of your neck. So this pearl, and in her, she does not use a pearl this size. She uses a smaller pearl. And it sits sort of just at the base of your neck. Um, this guy actually is really probably more flattering to someone that has 
a more slender, longer neck than what I have, but I think it's still really pretty. Um, and uh, and I really like it. And so um, so my mom made this one for me. And then you can't really tell. I'll s sort of stand up a little bit so you can see this little area. It kind of goes down. It goes sort of down all the way. If I can get up a little bit here. All the way to the bottom. I'll back up. Sorry. So it goes all the way down to sort of the bottom of my breastbone and then the chain goes all the way down almost to my navel. So that is what she calls her lariats. And she makes tons of different chokers, tons of different lariats in different colors of chain and different lengths. Excuse me. And then she also makes what are more, um, I would say, traditional chokers, which actually set further up on the neck. And my mom actually did make um, a tr more traditional choker, which is what she sells. And this is what it looks like here. It's just a silver chain. And this one, I'm not gonna put it on. I'm not gonna um, actually put it on for you, but I'll show you sort of where it sits on my neck, which is, it actually sits further up than that. It's gonna set about right here on my neck. And I really, really like it. And it's not uncomfortable to wear. Um, it would seem that because it it's, looks a little bit tighter that it would be uncomfortable, but they're really not. Um, and so, I mean, you can still swallow, you can breathe, you can do all of those things. So, um, yeah, I would just... I would just say that those are some things that I'm really enjoying right now. So again, if you like things like that, um, go down to my description box and I will link her um, channel below for you. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is some really cool, and again, this is actually something I saw in one of Alex's uh, vlogs. She's in LA and um, she has gone several times to, it's called Koreatown but for short, um, they call it K-Town. And there's like three big malls in K-Town. And the last time I was out there with my husband in LA, I, um, he took me, we went to K-Town and sort of looked around. They're really, really cool malls. And I've kind of been into some Korean products lately. And so um, I'm gonna talk about a couple of those things um, right now. But one of the things that I found um, in K-Town that I, I thought were so cool. They had the, this really, really cool shoe store and they had all these really cool platform uh, tennis shoes and leisure, I don't know if you call them leisure shoes, but they were just really kind of really, they had a lot of platform shoes. And I found these platform tennis shoes that I fell in love with. And so they are silver and they are way, way, way sparkly and I, totally fell in love with these guys. Um, and they're really, really cute with, um, with skinny jeans and really cute with leggings. And I absolutely love them. I had to pick them up and they're just the cutest things ever. So those are, those are like some of my favorite shoes right now. Um, let's see, any other things? I'm actually gonna do a video um, I'm gonna film another one right after this. Um, one of the other things, and I'm gonna do a full review on these things in my next video. One of the other things that I picked up in K-Town, I have been really, really intrigued with uh, cushion foundations. And um, if you go, you can't really find, I mean, you can, it's really hard to find these in stores. Um, when I was in K-Town, they have tons of makeup, Korean makeup, um, stores there and tons and tons of products really hard it was really really hard for me to pick out products though because I don't read Korean and so <laughs> they had um, a lot of you know nice ladies in the different makeup stores that helped me sort of decide like what I wanted and things like that but I still like they're all really very new to me and so I did pick up uh, this one and um, uh, there's a brand it's called um, it's called Peripera, and it's a pretty popu 
popular. It's a pretty popular Korean brand. And this is Perry's uh, water cushion and the little box. The, all of the, the thing about it, a Korean makeup products is they have the absolute cutest packaging. I mean, it's like even if you don't know what the product is, the packaging is so cute. You're like compelled to buy it. It's like Hello Kitty stuff. It's like, even if you don't really use Hello Kitty pencils, you see them and you're just like, oh my gosh, they're so cute, I have to buy this. So um, anyway, I did buy this and you're, my lighting is so bright, you're not gonna be able to see. But this is the box that it came in and this is the actual um, water cushion. So the, the cushions just come like this and I have to tell you that um, they, uh, they get dirty really, really quick because they come with these little um, cushion applicators. And so anyway, I'm going to do, like I said, a full review of the water cushions that I've tried and then one other product that I've tried. And I'm going to do a separate video that I'm going to film right after this. So anyway, those are, again, some products that I'm really loving and enjoying right now. And so I just wanted to do a quick video about those. Um, see anything else? I don't think so. I think that's it. So anyway, um, I will put links below to everything that I talked about in this video. So if there's anything that you like that you're interested in, those will be down below, um, for shopping information. And I hope this video finds you well. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great week. And until we talk again, bye.